you know, it's, if you have them and they are silver, you may be able to use them for barter in, in a pinch down the road. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't go out and buy them though. Okay. I wouldn't invest in them. There's just so many different variations in the amount of silver that's in foreign silver. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't stack it. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Yankee Stacking. And today I'm going to be talking with Tim Marshner, my local coin shop dealer, about the five unique types of silver that you may or may not want to be stacking. I mean, you, these are uh, items that you really should think twice about before you buy a lot of. So I'm going to talk about that with him in just a moment, but I also wanted to bring you up to speed on where I'm at with my Canadian Maple Leaf Monster Box. I bought one more tube from Tim, and here they are. These are brilliant uncirculated Canadian Maple Leafs. If you followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I have a strategy called Stacking the Yankee Way. And one of the types of silver that I really do like to stack is Sovereign silver government minted silver bullion like the canadian maple leaf now i i like the canadian maple leaf because of all the sovereign silver uh, at least the ones closest to me geographically this is the cheapest premium out there and i mean i just love the iconic design right that maple leaf is beautiful and again i'm not far from the canadian border so i see a lot of Canadian coins. Now, there are other types of silver that you can buy, and I am going to ask Tim about five kinds. The, this comes to me from various viewers of my channel. They've sent me emails, and who better to ask than Tim? So stick around all the way to the end, and I'll give you my opinion on each of them. How's it going? Uh, we're still here. Are you making some uh, Yankee stacking business? Yes. You're getting some every people? Every day, yeah. Every day? Good. Yeah. And the only thing that's getting more difficult is getting material. Yeah, what's going on? Is it, it Where's the silver? I, I think the it's not that the mines are working around the clock. It's just the mines are somewhere else. So the silver is probably sitting on a container ship off the coast of California. <laughs> I don't know. But it seems Aren't they clearing be, up that backlog, that 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 log I jam? They, I think they've gotten uh, they've unloaded about ten ships in the last six months. But I thought he, I thought I thought Brandon was going to get that all squared away for us. He was, he was, but uh, you know, we cut into his NASCAR schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any Canadian maple leaves? I still have some left. Yes. Really? Yep. And I have a customer who's going to show up. One of these days, looking for nine tubes, and I don't have those nine tubes. Do you have a tube for me? I Yeah, I always have tubes for you. you see, there's some in there. Okay, cool. I like to get one. Okay. Um, and okay. Uh, But I want to ask you a question. Sure. Tell me what you think of that Canadian trucker rally slash protest going on. I, I was gl glad to see it uh, because... As you know, I've been trying to get to Canada for the last two years for the Canadian Grand Prix. Right. I don't know how the hotels in Montreal even stay in business. They haven't had any customers. I mean, there's no reason to go to Montreal unless you, there's something going on there. And um, so far, there's been nothing going on in all of Canada. And uh, to you know, prevent the truckers from going across the border is insane. Um, they depend on goods from this country we depend on a lot of things from Canada. And um, we used to be a very friendly countries with each other. I'm not sure if that's uh, changed. Uh, but I, I think Justin Trudeau may have shot himself in the foot with this one. Um, he, he appears to be aligned with the side of big government and dictatorial uh, policies. Um, and that's too bad because Canada used to be um, somewhat like this country in the fact they had a representative uh, uh, democracy or republic, um, and they are not dependent on decisions made um, by the monarchy in, in England. Um, so, uh, you know, it's um, the rest of um, outside of Ottawa, the rest of the country is pretty free. <laughs> but the only way they move things is by truck. Well, they, they need to resolve that. And um, 
it was sad to see some of our press picking individuals at random and say, oh, there are Trump supporters there. That's why they had, they had this insurrection going on. And, I mean, you see, hear the stupidest things from people. Um, and all oh, there's a racist in the crowd. And well, you know, out of the thousands of people who are there, um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a racist. That's the goal though. If they can separate, isolate and denigrate, they can discredit what they're trying to do. <laughs> I used to drive a lot. <laughs> not, not necessarily by truck, occasionally by truck. Uh, I was a truck driver in the, in the service. And, um, you know, I always thought about maybe doing that because it, it would be fun. But when I realized that going cross country with a trailer that um, that's actually more work than it needs to be. I have a great deal of respect for truckers. Awesome. And, um, you know, that's the it's backbone of this country. Right. You know, well, we don't even have pipelines that work anymore. And we've got to rely on truckers to get everything around. I'm going to ask you about silver that might be out of the norm. And I want to know your opinion on it from a stacking perspective. Okay. Yep. So one of the things that I've already asked you before is about graded and slabbed modern bullion. I got an email from one of my viewers that said, Yankee, I, there's a 2022 uh, PCGS PF70 signed first strike, incredible American Eagle. And should I buy it? It's like five times what it normally costs an Eagle. Yeah. I'm like, dude, no. I really tried to steer him away from it, but you still, you still think modern bullion, silver, not worth, usually not worth grading and buying, no, right? uh, Grading services are essential for rare coins. If you have a rare coin, even if you're not sure it's the right condition, get it graded. Um, and it usually, if it's a rare coin, it will improve its, its value. If it's been cleaned or something or altered in any way, it's not going to improve its value. But uh, for bullion, I still think it's a waste of money. A 2022, especially the first strike. I think that's just well, a, that's, that's, that's a that's what I bought. They all they, the only difference between the first strikes and the next batch is the first strikes cost me more. <laughs> I just don't buy it. Okay, so that was one thing. Uh, the second thing, coincidentally, is something that came in while I was here. Somebody sold you some sterling silver. This one, this is pretty cool. This is a uh, Una onza troy de plata pura. So I think it's saying one troy ounce of pure silver. It shows the weight right there. Yes. It shows lay. It says, I think it's 0.925, yes, right? Which is not pure silver. It's not. It's sterling, right? Yeah. This is sterling silver from, by the way, I, I did look uh, this up while you were helping another customer. This is from the Mexican mint, which is the oldest mint in the americas this goes way way back yeah, right that's that's true because they they right. um they established their mints so to speak uh when the spanish were in control of uh, mexico yeah. right now this is dated 19 what, 1979 yeah. so sterling silver is that worth stacking it's silver so it's worth stacking okay it's um it's money yeah so it's worth stack stacking okay. It is sterling silver. If you were scrapping these, you mm. wouldn't get as much money as you would for 999 because it's a more expensive process for a refinery to extract the silver. Okay. Or extract the copper or whatever else is in it. See, I don't buy sterling. Um, and I'm interested. Leave a comment below if you think sterling is the way to go with stacking. Um, I, although I might actually pick up one of these because it's really cool. These are really popular. That and, you know, we used wow. to refer to these as the big onzas because they made the small one right after that. The small one is smaller and thicker. Um, the smaller ones are also 999 and not sterling. So, you know, it's okay. onza means onza, means one ounce. And uh, plata pure does mean pure silver. <laughs> it's like sterling. Yeah, that's a very um, a subjective word. So that's again, true. be careful. That's yeah. True. yeah. All right. So maybe the sterling. Okay. I, 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 I'd be curious to know if you guys that are watching think sterling's worth buying as well. How about commemorative silver coins? There's a lot of those. 
Is that worth stacking? U.S. commemoratives? U.S. commemoratives. You pay uh, an extra premium for that stuff. Well, a lot of the older ones, which have the same amount of silver as a Morgan or a Peace dollar, um, so they're 90%. And the, the, the percentage of a troy ounce of silver is 0.77344, so 77% of a troy ounce per dollar. Okay. Um, a, a lot of those, I say they, they could come into the stacking category because they made way too many of them. Uh, they, the one that they made the most of, I think, has to be the 86 um, Statue of Liberty. Uh, but they were re using it to raise money for the Statue of Liberty 100th anniversary. and um, For renovating the Statue of yeah, Liberty, right? Yeah, or for, you know, renovating it and, and having the big celebration with okay. the fireboats that are going on in the fire. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that. Yeah. Um, but it was, you know, they, and they, they were stacking, but they're no, no more worth stacking than Morgan and Peace Dollar Culls. Because that's they're about worth the same price. Good point. Cull Morgans and Peace is a good comparison to some of those. How about the newer commemorative silver coins? Um, they're expensive. Well, the ones that are nine nine nine. You mean? Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, they are. They're expensive. I, I don't care. I, I guys. And you know, I, I, I wouldn't I, feel comfortable. I like the set of the you know the six Morgan dollars and or five Morgan dollars and the Peace dollar. I like that set, um, but it's still too, too expensive. Yeah. And um, you know, when you're in the business of buying and selling coins or bullion, um, mm. we can't make any money dealing with things like that. Because the aftermarket will fluctuate. And, um, you know, I suppose if I were one of those people who got acquired 100 sets, um, you know, I'd be willing to sell them just enough to make a profit. But, um, you know, I just like everybody else, it was kind of impossible to get them. Two more things. Um, Foreign silver, like 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 Canadian silver, that's like 80%. I had somebody email me and say, what do you think of that, Yankee? Should I be stacking foreign silver, 80% silver, Canadian silver? If you're in Canada, yes. I mean, if you're a Canadian citizen, yes, definitely. Um, it's silver, silver. Uh, it is 80%, so the refineries, again, have a different attitude toward it. They're not, they're not really interested in, in large quantities. Man, you are getting the calls. I wonder what's doing that. Oh, uh, must be Yankee Stack. <laughs> okay, one more for you, and then I want to buy my tube. War nickels. War nickels. 35% silver. Is that worth stacking? It's a very small amount of silver. It's like 1.75 grams of silver, and that doesn't amount to a whole lot. Um, let's see, the attitude of the refineries, again, you don't get anything like... Um, you know, the full amount of silver. Uh, wholesaler won't even take them unless we have 4,000 uh, because that's what a bag is. And, um, you know, it's, if you have them and they are silver, you may be able to use them for barter in, in a pinch down the road. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't go out and buy them, though. I okay. wouldn't invest in them. So a common theme from this is really the resale and what you're going to get. A lot of this is just going to come back at melt, right? Um, yeah, a lot of the oddball stuff and foreign stuff is, is certainly like that. Um, except the foreign silver is always, it can be, you know, 735 or 55 or 550 or, you know, 800 or 835. <laughs> There's just so many different variations in the amount of silver that's in foreign silver. Mm -hmm. Um, I wouldn't stack it. Here, give me a, a tube of those. And then I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy one of these two just for fun. Yeah, I don't have any sterling like this, so that was really cool. All right. Thanks, Tim. Okay, that's awesome. So you're gonna have um, you're gonna have the um, the Libertad Anza the uh, sterling silver. Plata Pura, which yep. I figured out. Yet. And then 25 Maple Leafs. Yes. And why don't you take one for uh, for a giveaway? Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, they're going to love that. Thank you so much, Tim. I really appreciate it. That's, that's you know, because we have so many uh, followers of Yankee Stack and Calling every day. That's, it's well worth it. 
Fantastic. All right, man. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you as well. So what do you think of those five types of uh, silver that uh, you may or may not want to stack? I mean, for me, uh, the certified or slabbed modern silver bullion is out. I don't want anything to do with it. I want my silver raw and touchable. <laughs> I don't want to spend the extra premium. I think it's a waste of money like Tim thinks. Um, sterling silver. Hmm. Well, I did buy that coin. It's pretty cool. And, you know, I could see a place for it. Um, actually, here's the second one. Ooh, that's right. I got to give one of these away. Stick around if you want to know how to get this. But um, sterling silver is not going to be a large uh, amount of my stack. Commemorative silver. Now, this one is a tricky one. Sometimes you can get some good deals on commemorative coins. Um, again, try not to pay much in the way of premiums. Unfortunately, I think all too often, especially with new releases, you're going to pay an, a, a boatload in premium. So you want to stay away from them. Uh, I mean, if they're old and they've ended up in a showcase that some local coin shop dealer is selling them for just over spot, then yeah, I would grab them. Um, foreign coins, foreign silver, like Canadian 80% silver. I have a few 80% uh, silver coins from Canada. And you know, if you live in Canada, just like what Tim said, that's a good coin to stack. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not a big foreign coin stacker. I like to stick with the country of my origin. So a mostly constitutional silver in the United States is what I'm after. 90% silver. And then speaking of percentages, the 35% silver war nickels. Wow, that was interesting. I learned a, a few tidbits about that from Tim. I'm not interested in war nickels. I mean, I have some but I am not stacking war nickels at all. Um, you're not gonna get much in resale there and I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, I think that's it. Those are the five you know, questionable types of silver that you may or may not wanna stack. Please let me know in the comments what you think of those five types. And if there are other types that you would like me to ask Tim about. Now, you wanna get a chance to win this coin? This is what you gotta do. In the comments, put, I love Tim and silver. Ooh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? I love Tim and silver, that whole line, right? And um, it, it, I will say the 50th person to put, I love Tim and silver in the comment section wins. That's the 50th person person, not the 50th comment. So don't spam the comments, guys. All right. This is open to those with a US or Canadian uh, mailing address. And uh, definitely check out the description below for all the details about the giveaway. But yeah, that's it. Put that in the comment and the 50th person to put that in will win this sterling silver coin or one of these because the other one i'm keeping all right well i hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and oh don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't i'm trying to get to that 100,000 subscriber milestone when i do i'm giving away a one ounce australian gold coin but until then as always i hope your day is a-okay